Welcome, 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 guys. It's Mike, and it is Friday. Happy Friday, guys. Happy Frog Friday. Yes, today I'm wearing my 1000 series Frogman Men in Deep Purple. Look at the purple tones on that one. Absolute gorgeous frog. You can see where it gets its name Frogman from, right? There you go, just in case you didn't know. Gorgeous. But anyway, today is not about the Frogman. Today, it is about this swatch. Today I have a System 51 swatch, and this is aptly named Irony. Why is it named Irony? Because swatches, when they were first introduced in 1983, were all plastic. Inexpensive watches made completely plastic. The irony of this one is that this is made completely out of stainless steel. And you know guys, I used to like swatches back in the day. I had a couple, but nothing as gorgeous as this. Let's get into the stats real quick because it has some interesting info surrounding this one. So the case size is a 42 mil. The height is 13.8 mil, so it is a thick watch. The lug to lug is 50.6 mil. The lug width is 21 mil at its widest point, tapering down to 20 mil, probably back up to 21 mil for the uh, clasp there as well. And that clasp is a stamped clasp, as you can see. Now, it has a gorgeous nautical themed dial with that sunburst blue. I can get it out of the light there. Go back a little bit. Look at it, guys. It just, the light just dances off of it. Gorgeous watch, absolutely lovely. Now, the beauty about this watch is it has an in house movement. And this in house movement boasts. 51 pieces, all crafted by machine. Nothing is done by human hands. Even the adjustments set up by laser. And uh, if I can keep it in shot, you can see that that rotor is like a clear rotor with a solid perimeter edge. So it's the perimeter that you can see moving around. Awesome. So 51 pieces make up this movement, um, five modules and one pin holding it all together. It does have hacking and winding. It also has a 30 meter water resistance. So, you know, it's not the best, but it's a swatch. Bear in mind, it's a swatch, keep that in mind. Um, it also is completely sealed. So as gorgeous as this is guys, Guess what? At the end of it all, I guess you've just got to, I don't want to say throw it away. You've got to put it in a drawer and leave it there when it dies. It is an automatic movement, so no battery needed, right? But um, still, if this should ever go down, you know, in years to come, I guess it would just uh, end up in a drawer somewhere because it would be a shame to throw something as gorgeous as this away. It has 19 joules and a 90 hour power reserve and it is accurate to plus minus seven seconds per day. So that movement is a really good Swiss ETA movement, guys. And that ETA movement was produced in-house by um, all of the, the, the Swatch groups. So all of the companies that make up Swatch combined together over two years to produce this movement. And what a great job they did. Um, I said it's gonna be one of those watches that you put in a drawer when it's done. Um, the price shows that kind of when this was launched in 2013 it went for a price of around about the 235 dollar mark so not too bad for a fully stainless steel cased watch with hacking and winding capabilities a beautiful exhibition case back and that awesome movement with 90 hours power reserve what a great piece guys um i don't have any swatches in my collection but this is one, if I found one, I would definitely uh, give it a second look because it's definitely worth it. Definitely worth it. Nice bracelet. It's let down a little bit by the clasp. You know, that, that does look a little bit cheaper, but guys, you're getting a watch for around about the 200 mark, and that was when they were launched. They're probably less than that now. And bear in mind, this is based off of its plastic cousin, which, you know, 
that was made because it was a cheap watch. In fact, Swatch actually stands for second watch. Um, if you look back through um, the documentation, Swatch stands for second watch, which is the one that you wear, you know, when you get home or, you know, when you're doing something that uh, you don't mind banging up a little bit. Whenever I had swatches, they were always, you know, the ones that I would sleep in or, you know, um, shower in or, <laughs> or, you know, swim in. They're the ones that I didn't care about, but looked really cool nonetheless. This is one step up with a stainless steel encasement. Awesome watch. So guys, Dane has this in his collection. Um, I'm sure he's babying it now because he doesn't want to, you know, throw it in that drawer. We're going to say throw it in the drawer. Let me give you a wrist shot, guys, because it does look good on the wrist. So I will take off my frogman. Let's see how this wears on my seven and three quarters wrist here today. Okay, Dane wears his watches obviously a little bit tighter than I would, um, and he has a smaller fit than me. But uh, there you go. On my seven and three quarters, it, it's nice. It, it 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 fits nice. I mean, as I said, that's a little bit tight for me. I would wear it probably uh put, probably put another link in there or open it up a little bit more. But that's nice, and that dial looks so sweet. So nice, solid bezel. So. That's not moving or anything like that. Solid fixed bezel. Date at three o'clock. Red seconds. Very nice indeed. Very nice indeed. So, lastly, I guess we should give it a loom test and see how it does in the loom department. Let's check it out. I'm pretty sure the hands will not illuminate because they are a polished metal and they don't look like they have any loom on them but let's just see how the numbers fare. Oh the numbers are gorgeous, that's not bad at all but the hands are gone. <laughs> so you'd be hard pressed to tell the time in the night, there you go. You can just make them out if uh, the light shines on them, but uh, yeah, not the the hands are not illuminated. That's plain to see. I think, guys, that really is the only flaw with this watch. It's gorgeous movement, gorgeous, and that's an Eta movement. So, you know, you're you're definitely not getting something that uh, hasn't been made well, and well engineered. Lovely piece, guys. Absolutely lovely piece. So, there you have it, the Swatch Watch System 51 Irony. Ironic because it's made out of metal in the same design as the plastic, as its plastic cousin. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Wear all of your watches in the very best of health. And until next time, take care.